Can you hear that? The distant sound of a plane. Beautiful. The beach is in um, sort of that direction over there. And I'm going to head along that way and see if we can get up onto the dunes. As the tide's in today, it's High tide at the moment. Be nice to see that. You know, it's just beautiful. Bird sounds. Peace. Tranquility. Hear a buzzard calling overhead somewhere. No signs of life, human life. It's a long time, many, many years since I've been into these woods. As a kid, I guess. Um, I'm going to have to spend the night in here. Bring some really basic gear. Just have a night here in all this beautiful solitude. The beach, I think, is over in that direction. You see the sky there. We're probably, what, half a mile from the beach and this strip of pine forest and kind of mixed forest, birch scrub. It extends probably about three miles down the coast. And it's like an isolated pocket, little isolated pocket. You saw it in the video when I was just coming up to the woodland. The nearest thing Kind of in that direction is the airfield, is an airfield. And that's pretty much it really. And with English nature get the way. The environmental vandals would destroy and cut down all this forest to make room for grass. And can you hear the, the wildlife in these trees? Here all the little birds make a living here, live here. There's native red, red squirrels in this woodland as well. One of the few isolated pockets of squirrels left in this country. A little bird there in the tree, I can't quite make out what it is. I'm just soaking it in and just enjoying it. Shame that helicopter has to spoil it. But it'll be past in a minute. Nice light aircraft. I'll move on a bit and then I'll come back. So I've just made it through the woods and out to the open dunes. The sea is just beyond. The ridge of dunes in the distance.
only noise is the annoying bloody planes flying over. Artistic here. Not seen anybody for what? Forty five minutes. Absolute bliss. Well, I'm not going to go over to the beach. Where my old knees are giving up now. It's just too far. It's a lot of dunes, a lot of loose sand to cross, and uh, for our lifetime, my knees are finally worn out. So I'm going to go back into the forest. <laughs> Why don't you fall over? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go back into the forest, which is where I want to be anyway. You know, there she is. I've come on my bike, bush bike, which is the only reason I'm this far. If I'd been walking, I wouldn't have made it this far. So, uh, I'll pick my bike up <laughs> and I'll head off back. So I'm back in the woods. Beautiful. People who want to and go and when the apocalypse happens go and live in the woods and live off the land I honestly don't know what you're going to eat when you get here the on, about the only food here are blackberries I've seen a little bit of wild asparagus that's about it really you're only going to find some berries and things in the autumn Come winter, this place is going to be as desolate as desolate can get. Well, unless you can live on the same diet as a squirrel or eat squirrels, catch small birds, you ain't going to last long. Yeah, I think I'll head back. Knees are aching. Probably travelled what 30 minutes since my last location. Beautifully, I could just stay here now for the night, it's absolutely stunning. Just a shame about the plane noise. This would be an absolute great spot to camp. Just a nice breeze. Sling a hammock between two trees here. And look at the stars. I might just do that. 